Hey everybody, welcome back. And if you're a new, thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm celebrating reaching my 100 subscribers goal with a game room tour. However, before I jump into that, I want to show you this wasn't an overnight process and actually took several years to reach where I'm at currently. So let's take a trip back in time and take a look at my old setup. This is actually a photo from when I first moved in and finally got everything I wanted to unpack. As you can see, pretty plain, just a shelf, my consoles on a TV stand, and my 50-inch TV. This was my first actual game room setup, as in previous houses, usually things were just in my room. So, getting my own room, and even this basic, was pretty exciting for me. And as you can see, slowly but surely, I started adding my Hot Wheels to the wall, my Formula One poster, and even more decoration items to the room. Meanwhile, I had my corner desk in another room where I had my PC and my air hockey table, and that really didn't last long. I did enjoy the setup, but decided I should probably combine them. That's when I took the TV off the stand, bought a wall mount, and put it up on the wall. Tossed the TV stand, well actually I gave it to my mother, and put a desk in here. As you can see, it's not a quarter desk. I chose a different one. That way I could put all my consoles and have a little slot for my PC there on the left in that giant iBuy power case. Shortly after this, I, it was not even a week or two, my 50 inch died. So I ended up going out and buying a 65 inch 4K TV. Why not? Might as well upgrade if the other one died. Actually, I ended up fixing uh, that 50 inch by replacing the power board. And it ended up back on that TV stand with my mother, so went full circle. Then I moved to my first ambient lighting attempt. As you can see, I just used white LEDs, nothing fancy. I was more of trying it out to see how I liked it. I even had LEDs in my computer, which it had a window, but you really couldn't see much of the LEDs inside, so it's kind of silly to be honest. Then more artwork came, so moved the 65 inch over a little bit, I was able to fit four more pictures in there. As well, my shelves to the right of me were turned into a pop stand, as I really didn't have any other idea of what to do with it. But then, we decided we wanted wood floors. So, had to take everything out of the room, clean it out, vacuum, and then slowly but surely move it back in. Which this is a photo I took just after putting everything back in the room. So, wasn't exactly organized. Then I got a third monitor, and as you can see, the left one didn't exactly fit on the desk, so I had to make myself a little makeshift wooden stand there, but it allowed me to use my newly created sim rig with three monitors, because before, this was my setup, and it was terrible. I'll just say that. So, that's the progress I made up to this point. There is a little more I missed, but let's get into the game room tour as... I know that's what you're all waiting for. So, here we go. Alright, so let's get on with the game room tour. And as you can see, it is quite, quite filled with Hot Wheels here. I am honestly, well, I'm not really obsessed anymore, but I used to be, and I collected them all. But we'll take a closer up look. There's Smitty. And we'll just do a quick pan around of the room before we take a close look at things. That's kind of a, my wife's and I shared shelves over there. Some shot glasses. Of course, more Hot Wheels. The Alienware. Here I got a shelf of stuff. Models, controller boxes, a football, StarCraft things, of course. Desk. My computer, that's actually my work machine, the Alienware, all my consoles, TV, pictures. All right. And then, of course, I'm going to have my Formula One poster up here. Can't have my room without that. All right. So I'm going to start on this side of the room, and we'll kind of work our way all the way around this way from left to right. Uh, as you can see, I got a box here full of shot glasses. These are just various places I visited or families visited and decided to pick me up a shot glass. They really don't get used. I like beer, 
I'm not a real big hard liquor guy. Maybe a margarita or martini here and there, but beer's my game. Once you move over here, see we got some, well, I say some, but we got a good amount of Rick and Morty pops here. As you can see, we're pretty obsessed. We got the uh, Szechuan sauce, you know, from that big promotion. We didn't get the original time around. It was the second time around, but we weren't really that hyped to get it the first time around. That one I feel really special about. I found that for my wife, the Charmander. And uh, I forgot where I was, but it was the only one. It was in back. Someone was obviously trying to hide it, but I got it for her. That Pokemon ball is actually an old promotion from Burger King, which came with this guy. My friend's mom actually bought me that, so it's pretty cool. It opens up and everything. I don't know what's in there right now, so I've let my wife deal with it. So we'll, we'll leave that back. If you ask me, my favorite pop is Corvelius. Because I love how he's just so nonchalant in that episode. Well, looks like she took a tumble. And then we got a Morty glass over here. It actually was a set, but people I was playing at pinballs with, we actually went in halves on the set, and I let him have the Rick side, and I took the Morty. Missed that dude. Should hit him up one of these days. And then, of course, I got a Hot Wheels roller coaster train here. And if you're wondering, no. It will not go down the track at this long. I think eight is the record someone's done it with. Don't ask me, ask them. Of course, more Hot Wheels up here. And then you got more Hot Wheels, another case. And I'm pretty sure there are Hot Wheels in these cases. I think in this one and this one, I have custom cars I've made. I'm not gonna try to pull them out. Then we got tons Pokemon here. My wife loves Pokemon, so these are all hers. And then the donut baby, that's scary. But and then her other pops here that she's opened up. These ones, I don't know why we haven't opened them, but they look really cool. Oh yeah, pickle rick. Next shelf is mostly family. I'm gonna skip over that because I don't need to go into my family, but it is a shelf of pictures and stuff of our family and family-related items. But more Hot Wheels, a model I built when I was like 15, maybe. I got the Supernatural car with a lot of dust. There's Eleanor. Don't ever build one of these and call it Eleanor. They will come after you. Just ask, uh, B is for build. I love that guy, and it sucks he lost that Mustang. This is a hubcap from an old classic Chevy. My best friend in elementary school actually found this and gave it to me. And I've just hung on to it ever since, and I love this thing. I'd never get rid of it, even though I'm not really a Chevy fan. Here's a stack of uh, CDs. How long has it been since you've seen one of these? And this is Battlefield Vietnam, and I've verified this works. You just gotta do a lot of work. So there's like three CDs. I got the CDs for GTA 3. Yes, the original 3D one. I think there's Vice City in here too. I don't know. Here's some more models in various stages of being completed. Not these, those. That's actually my dad's. He gave it to me because he never finished it and doesn't plan on it. That's actually the one that's over here. This one's been painted. This one's been painted. They're just not all the way put together. And moving along. This is a cool thing. It's a car case. It actually opens up. And I think what I did is I put anything racing related in here. I'm knocking stuff over. Yeah, you can see some racing related cars in there, but it's pretty cool. It's even got a little ramp on the front with a little ejector. Got that from sending in cereal box tops or something. This is pretty fun. It still works to this day. It's just a little uh, indie car that my great grandma got me years ago. And yeah, 
I've used it, had the dogs chase it around. It's pretty fun still. That's one of those drift cars. It's fun, it's just not realistic. This is a deer antler I found when I was walking home from school in high school. I don't know why I still have it, it just looks cool. It also makes a good centerpiece accessory. All right, more Hot Wheels as you can see. Got Starburst, a Joker, Trix, Mario 2, Mario 3. Uh, I think that's Super Mario World. Uh, I know that's Dr. Mario and that's Mario Kart. One of those there. Then I got some Gran Turismo cars, special series cars. I got the, I got Tomb Raider on CD. That is an original copy. I think I even still have the box. And more Hot Wheels. And all down here. It's tons of Hot Wheels. These things are old because they're from when I was a kid. Like, you can just tell it's pretty beat up. Old yellow windows. Some are newer because I was going to do customizations and never did. But, yeah, there's tons of these. I'm not going to dump them out and go through all of them. There's so many. Just insane. There's even another bucket of them over here. But more Hot Wheels in those boxes. So yeah, that's that shelf. So moving on, of course we got a couch in here. You can't have a game room without a couch. I got two Darth Vader pillows and one Stormtrooper. I should have went the other way around with that, but that's what we found. Those are my wife's stuffed animals and her fancy smancy blanket here. And then, moving on, that's Smitty. This is his window. He doesn't like you touching it. All right, that's your window? Is that your window? <coughs> See, he's not. Nope, don't touch my window. Okay, oh, well, 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 we'll leave him alone. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. See? He's all bark, no bite. Well... I don't know about intruders. He might bite you. Anyway. So. Got some Star Wars. Or, sorry. Some artwork here. They're not posters. Also some artwork above the couch here. They're all done by the same guy. He used to go into Flick's Brew House. And whenever they had a premiere or something. He'd sell his art for the week. But uh, unfortunately. Flick's closed down. Due to some virus not sure what but sad my wife used to work there here's a hot wheels one of my buddies gave me recently he's like i don't want it and we got some movie ones right here tommy boy back to the future sorry for the glare that's my favorite one when the car gets pooped in well poop dumped on it but several ones that's another favorite of mine these are all my super treasure hunts. I like the NSX the most. That one I found. I bought this one. I traded for this one. And the rest down here, except these two, I bought these two. All the rest I found. Just, you know, digging through bins. And then these are their regular counterparts down here. I wish I had better lighting. Sorry, guys. And then, of course, all the Hot Wheels here. Some of these are pretty old. They're from 95, 94, 95, when I first started collecting as a child. Yes, I was like six, seven. But some of these are pretty old. This is my wife's desk. As you can see, she put some of her stuff here. She's got Charmander, uh, Mr. Meeseeks, Rick. She got some. Batman stuff over here. This guy talks. He's funny. Oh, wait, no. He lights up. He talks. Forgot how to make him talk. Well, I don't remember. And then this is one of those things that gets evil. Evil pets or whatever. She loves those things. 
And then, of course, down here is her computer. I don't know why it's not on. I thought it turned it on, but she's got some RGB lighting. I actually set that up for her. In fact, this is actually my old computer, which you can see here. Uh, I don't remember the specs. I know it's 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, an FX 8350, and then a uh, RX 490 or 480. I think it's a 480. But that's what I used to game with right there a while back. That's actually a, not even the original case I had it in. I used that case for a while, but I actually had a bigger I buy power case that I use. And then I got that one for free from work. And I didn't need any drive base, so I just put three fans there. Because that's all the rage now. Alright, and as we come over here, I got lots of things here. So we got World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King... StarCraft II Collector's Edition. Uh, my two-year mug is in that box from working at Blizzard. Blizzard figurine. This gas tank thing with the skull is actually... You're supposed to fill it up with a liquid and drink from... Or drink from it or put it in here and dispense it. Uh, I just think it's a neat decoration. Got a nice R34 right here. I'd call that Godzilla green, but, you know. But yeah, that one's signed. Oh yeah, and if you come around here, I actually have um, Cataclysm Collectors, and then my original World of Warcraft box. I don't play anymore, so don't ask. Um, these are Deathlings I got from BlizzCon 2010. I went, at, I went with my girlfriend at the time. Not my wife. I love my wife way more. But it just didn't work out. So that's what we got here. And then I got a card from the place I bought my truck from. Funny enough, they're actually a sports car place and I bought a truck from. All right, so these are all 118 scale models. Yes, I know they're, they're not models. They're just, you know, you buy them. I guess they are models, but you just buy them and don't put them together. They're already built. So these are all those. I've been collecting these for about 10, 15 years. Actually more. I was probably 12 when I got my first one. But I'm sorry there's no light down here. There we go. The 488 down there is actually the newest one I've gotten. And that one's staying in the box. You got a Firebird, Mustang, Mercedes. That's a model. That's a model I built. There's a Beetle with a newer Beetle, but now an older Beetle because they're getting rid of those. If we jump around here, that one's I had to build. These are hot rod trucks that my uncle got me while I was a kid, and I've just been hanging on to them. And then down here, this Racing Champions uh, Top Fuel Dragster is actually another one my uncle gave me. He gave me these kart cars, which that series no longer exists, so I don't know what they're worth, but, you know, I got Brian Heretta and Michael Andretti down there. So. And then that's a IndyCar, old NASCAR, and another NASCAR down there. Nothing too special, but these are the things I like. Of course, over here is my simulation rig with my Logitech G20, or has yeah, it G29, right? Works pretty well. I got the H shifter, and I quite like that. Here's my helmet that I go to the track with, or autocross, anything automotive related. I actually have two helmets here. And then some shoes in there, racing shoes that go along with these gloves. Yes, I use my gloves when I sim race, but honestly, my hands are way less sore after doing one, you know, well, not just one, but like a day's worth of races. That's just a little work machine down there next to my battery chargers for all my AA batteries since, you know, need those for Xbox. 
Not sure what I'm going to do with that workstation. There's a wireless keyboard that no one's using right now. But if we go up, more Hot Wheels. I tried to kind of, if you notice this row right in the middle of the screen there that I'm going up on. You notice I tried to do a rainbow. I was trying to see if my wife would notice. She did. But those are actually Lamborghinis if we take a closer look. And you got Corvettes, Ferraris, BMW, Nissan, Infiniti. That one's pretty cool. It's like a special looking one. But these are all my Hot Wheels. Yes, lots of them. Uh, my HD antenna that probably doesn't do much. I think the wire running down like this and back up does more than that. Uh, Rocket League poster I got from Luke Gaming. More artwork. Yes, I like Star Wars. Well, I like older Star Wars. My favorite one is Guardians of the Galaxy. I like Rocket and Groot a lot. Of course, TV is going. That's my car at Texas World Speedway a few years back before it closed. That was one of the best tracks I've ever driven on. And it was a lot of fun. I, I wish it didn't have to die. Uh, random license plates that I was going to put all around the wall. I just didn't change my mind. And then more artwork. Ghostbusters right there. And then I have a Fallout one. I don't have too many gaming. There's two more here. Guardians of the Galaxy again. Rocket, Groot, Groot's a pickup truck, or sorry, a tow truck, Gamora, and Drac. And if you look at these Hot Wheels, these are actually some of the older ones too. I kept them all in here. I actually have the Taco Bell Matchbox cars they brought out at one point. But you can see these are definitely older Hot Wheels. But the ones on top here... These four on the right, those are all treasure hunts. Newer treasure hunts I found. So they're not old. But 2000 first editions, so 21 years. It's been a long journey of collecting these. And then finally, oh, let's go a year earlier. 1999. And I got several variants of these in this year. I don't know if they changed something, but I got three different colors of that. Like, you could just find small variations of these. Here's another Taco Bell Humvee. But yeah, this year it was crazy. I remember this one so vividly because there were so many different cars for one model. And they that's something that they just do now. But yeah. And then if we come over here, I'm going to turn the light back on. Of course, the other wear. Got my Dreamcast. Look at that. Could you imagine being my friend? <laughs> so, I have two regular controllers. I actually bought this one recently for $12 because I couldn't find the other one. Turns out I was in a box of Legos. I couldn't even find that one. But, I have three controllers. Just need one more. I need to clean this up you can tell it's yellowed a lot uh we got playstation games back here i got old older games back behind all these days of thunder one of my favorite movies back to the future one of my favorite trilogies love deadpool love furious 7 made me cry yes that's how much i love cars guardians of the galaxy of course I love the new Star Treks. And then, of course, I got Xbox One games, PS3, a bunch of PS4 games, Wii U. I got Switch games tucked in up here. Of course, I got Smash Bros, Animal Crossing, and Pokemon Let's Go for the wife. Here's our PS2 Slim. That's one of two I have. Not Slim. We got a Game Boy Color, and then I have all my 360 games. Yeah, I have this up here, but that's for all my older consoles. 
the PlayStation or the Dreamcast here so I can play them. This is a case for the Switch. And yeah, you can see I got more Dreamcast games up there. And here I got some old school PC gaming boxes. The original Sims. I should try to install World in Conflict. I like that game a lot. There's Need for Speed Carbon. Flight Simulator for Windows 95. Yes, I'm that old. SimCity 3000. Eh. Need for Speed 2 was great. The original Grand Theft Auto. I got my mom to buy this for me when I was like 11. Command and Conquer Generals. Love that game. There's the box for Grand Theft Auto 3. And for Vietnam. So here's those. I guess I don't have the Tomb Raider box. Unreal Tournament 3, another good one. Of course, I have several copies of Battlefield, because I used to work for EA. Halo 2 in a box, one of my most favorite Xbox games ever. Some more movies. That's kind of it for this quarter. This is a big package to carry your uh, Switch in. Oh yeah, we got Alice, and then... The Sims Deluxe Edition. Oh, there's SimCity 3000 right there. Cool. All right, moving over. I got a stack of disc golf here. Disc golf discs here. I love playing disc golf. I do it almost every day. I join up a group of guys. They're pretty awesome. They, you know, we. I think I've been playing with them for like six months now. Best decision ever. Get my tea time in and everything. This. It's more discs, and this is my new new bag. I just bought this in the last couple months because I have only had about this much. Actually, I had about a quarter of this space taken up by a cooler. And this has pockets on the side. I can put stuff in, snacks, cooler, batteries, backup batteries, you know, all that good stuff. Also got this. This is a nice extender pole. Your stuff goes in the tree. Sorry, I had a text message come in while I was talking there, but, alright. And then over here, I just got some hats, sunglasses, my other camera that I use sometimes, GoPro stuff. I really want to get the GoPro for this, so I can make a track, because I have tons of old Hot Wheels track. I just want to send this car with the GoPro on it. I thought about taping mine to it, but I just have GoPro 3s, and they, they, it won't work. So, if you have one, you want to get rid of it, even if it's not totally functioning, let me know. I'd, I'd take it off of your hands. I, I can't afford much, but really would like to do that one day, just for the heck of it. be a lot of fun. In here, bottom drawer is files. This top drawer, guess what? Windows 7. I only keep that because I need the uh, key for that. However, I think the key's on the back. Yep. Secret. Get yourself a little uh, micro SD card. Put Windows on it, like Windows 10, the USB, you know, you can download from their website. Tape that inside a CD box or something. Or I had it on my wall once, which I decided that's probably a dumb idea, so... Put in the Windows 7 box. And that's where it lies today. Phone charger. I got some magnetic puzzles in here. Phone box. This is mostly just accessories, PC stuff. So if I need a cable or something. And of course, a uh, Rick Gator. Neck Gator. Alright. Last but not least. Well, we got the coffee table. It's quite interesting. This is a Pengu from Star Citizen. He's a snowboarding penguin. Well, he's actually just a plushie in the game. So, I have him in real life, though. And, of course, I got a box for just... it was It's supposed to be for remotes, but it's got some random stuff in it, like dog nail clippers. Just so I won't lose them, because I will. And we got a Zion National Park coaster here. Of course, my comedic car ones. Because... I'm obsessed with cars, and one with the D on it. 
the rest are all the same. So, there's that. And then this is pretty cool, because it just opens right up. And then, it's a little bit of a mess in here, but... As you can see, I got PS4 controllers, I got wires. Uh, these are for pinballs. I got tons of tokens, and I need to turn in the set here. Because as you can see, I got Toto. I think I have three Totos now. That's for the Wizard of Oz game. Then I got my uh, Wii U and Switch controllers in here. Got the steering wheel. I don't really use them anymore. More in here, more steering wheels. Princess, Luigi, another Switch Pro controller. More cables, so it's quite nice having a coffee table that you can just open up and put your controllers in. So, last but not least, my desk. So we'll start on the ground. As you can see, I got a Halo 4 edition Xbox 360. That's, I went through three of these, or not these exact ones, but I had a original Xbox 360 that red ringed. Luckily, I bought the Best Buy warranty. Took it in, they didn't have any, so they gave me an Elite for free. So I got upgraded storage and all sorts of stuff with that. And then that one broke, or I sold it or something, and I went to the Microsoft store, and they had this on a deal with a bunch of games. So I basically sold the other one, got a new console with two controllers, and a bunch of free games. It was funny. And then up here, I got my PS4. I actually waited in line on the night it was released, or the day it was released, or the night before it was released to get it. And I, of course, made a vinyl with the Stig on it, because I thought that was cool. He actually used to be standing up, but I kind of moved things around and put him on the shelf here. This actually goes to my SIM rig. So I can just plug in my USB here. That just goes up and connects to the computer. You can actually see all my wires here, but you don't see them when you're standing up, so it don't really matter. And then I got my PS3. I put a Perrin sticker on there, like the intake. Yeah, nothing special. It's a slim. Bought that because I really wanted to play Gran Turismo. It's most of the reason why I have PlayStations at this point. Gran Turismo. Hopefully, fingers crossed. They will release it for PC one day. Alright, moving over to the other side before we go to the top, because we'll finish off with that. I got my two headsets here. They're hooked on. I drilled this in so I get my headsets, and of course I'm going to break my LED lights while I'm under there. But yeah, this is an old uh, G933 wireless, and this is a Corsair Void Elite. I like them both a lot. This one broke because it fell, but I actually went in and fixed it. It sounds better than before, so that's one thing that's nice about that. This is my work machine. I work from home, so I have to have this here. And I have it hooked up through my monitors because I have it on a KVM switch to make life way easier. So I'm not always constantly having to pull cables. Um, yeah, I can't really go into detail on it. It has a 1080, like an i7, and 128 gigs of RAM, if you could believe that. But my work, some of my work requires me to actually use all that. And if we come around here, we got the nice Pokemon stand for my Switch, which as you can see is MIA. It's not here. I have my controllers that I put new cases on, but my Switch is currently down, under repair. Uh, but I do have a Switch Lite, so that gets me by for now. I want to get the Switch back because I'd like to, you know, play it on my TV rather than handheld all the time. And if we come over here, I got my PS Vita. This was really nice to use for a remote console play with the PS4. I didn't really play games on it, I just... If I was, like, outside or something, I could just boot this up, remote into my PlayStation, play games. Yeah, the controls kind of suck, because R3, L3, R2, and L2 are all this touchpad back here, but you could change it to where, like, R3, L3 were up here instead. But if you're playing something pretty basic and nothing too intricate, 
It was fun. I also like some of the games on there. I don't remember what I played. Like, for instance, if I played Pinball Arcade on my PlayStation, and I went outside, I'd pick this up and just boot it up on there, because no problem playing it on this. And there wasn't any lag. So, if you ever consider it, that might be a reason. If you still have a PS4. And then this is a modified PlayStation controller. Well, it's just the buttons are modified. It has gold buttons. I put clear <laughs> sticks on it, but as you can see, I killed this one from playing. But it's got a nice Pokemon shell on it. Charmander, Squirtle, some Pokeballs. All right. Two more PlayStation controllers charging here. And then, as you can see, I got my Wii U way back here because he barely ever gets used. He's still plugged in. But we honestly don't use it that much because we have the Switches. My wife has her own. I have my own. And then we have the console, but currently no console. All right. And we come to my, my seat where I sit. More comedy coasters. As you can see, I got a Corsair keyboard. You notice the theme, I kind of like Corsair products. So I also got a Corsair mouse. And I got my wireless phone charger. There's where I read all my memory cards and stuff. So I just pop that open, plug it in, and start editing. We got an Enterprise. We got a Guardians of the Galaxy ship. My stress ball, of course. It looks like an ink shifter from Blip Shift, but... You know, if I need to relieve some stress, I just got that right there. These are pretty cool. My wife bought me these. Budweiser ear pods. So you just slide the can open. And I actually found out by accident these seem to be waterproof because I dropped one in a drink, it cleaned it up, pulled it out, put it on, and it was working fine. So... Quite cool. Even the charger is pretty cool because it's like if you're going to pop open a soda, you go, Psh, and there's your USB-C charge port. So, and it's actually licensed by Budweiser. I don't like Budweiser, but concept very, very cool. Here's another Hot Wheels car, Toyota Supra, of course. One of my favorite cars in the world. They're really nice, fast. I got my joystick back here for Flight Simulator. Or in Star Citizen, I can use it to fly ships around. I don't really prefer it. If you look back there, you can actually see my router. I have it hooked on the wall there. So I can see all the lights from a glance. Because I used to have it pointed the other way. And it didn't work too well. So, we're that one now. Of course, my Switch light. I just got the basic gray one. I didn't need anything special. Mini uni uh, Rubik's Cube. Well, I can't talk. Of course, I got all my monitors mounted to my desk here with these arms. That way, if you watch my simulation rig video, I can just pull my monitors forward. I can move them up and down. You know, do whatever I want to make it more comfortable for me when I'm using it. And this mouse pad mouse mat, I should say, because it's ginormous. It's Battlefield 1. Came from a great ex-co-worker. He gave it to a few of us, and I will always say thank you to him for this, because I use it every day. I've washed it several times, and it still looks great, feels great, and hasn't worn any. So, one of the best mouse mats I've ever owned, and one of the largest, well, the largest. All right, so that is a tour of my game room. I just wanted to do this to celebrate reaching 100 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without y'all watching my videos here. If I miss something in here you want to look at or anything, not my family photos or anything, but like you want to closer up on anything, let me know. I'll post it to Twitter or something. Maybe I'll make an Instagram. You know, I'll get enough people on there. I'll post stuff. But yeah, those are all the things. Kind of miss this side. There's another 118 scale car. There's a Dreamcast box and an old public collector's edition. So, again, I appreciate every single one of you for hitting that subscribe button, liking my videos, commenting on them, 
it helps me out the motivation has been great trust me i really had a hard time making videos and editing them in the past for any reason even if it was just going from my dash cam to you know crazy dumb driver video but these are more fun i really enjoy doing tech videos a lot more so we're gonna keep that up like i said i'm gonna review that computer one of these days because it was my former computer, minus I did have a 1070 in it. Um, then I got some more exciting stuff coming up. I still am holding on to that PC secret, because I'm not spoiling that yet. And I think I know when the perfect time is. So stay tuned. If you're new, please click that sub down below. Maybe hit a notification. Trust me, I don't send out stuff all week. I deal with one video a week normally sometimes two maybe on wednesday but normally saturday sunday is when i post but again i thank you all for tuning in for the motivation and i hope you all have a great rest of your days take care y'all